Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment of our show brought to you by Nova Copy. Small business owners, big business owners, business managers. Right now, everyone is looking to cut their costs. It's the start of the year, then not better, and there's no better time to do it. What you need to do is make a quick call to Benny Malico, Trent Stevens, and the Nova Copy team this week. Get a free cost analysis of your company's workflow, then see for yourself how Nova Copy can save your company money. All right, back with Shazan, David, Bobby, Sterling, and way over there at the Nova Copy drawing board, we got Chuck Cavallaris. And uh, hopefully we can see what's written on the board there. Those, that's next year's schedule. The open date is right in the middle. You play six games, then you got an open date, then you got six more, so that's almost perfect. But what you got, I just want to mark down here, Chuck, Check mark by the te- the games that will that Tennessee will be a decisive clear favorite. X mark by games Tennessee will be a decisive clear underdog. Okay. Everything else we just leave blank for now. Bowling Green in Nashville, they went to a bowl. Eight of Tennessee's twelve opponents next year went to bowls this year. Uh, Bowling Green eight and six. They're Tennessee's favorite in that game. You would, th- I mean, definitely, as, as, especially as the starting game, and like you're saying, will be played in Nashville. Oklahoma eight and five in Knoxville. Which Oklahoma do you get? Yeah, they I show, don't, I don't see this as being decisive bowl, either way, game. guys. I mean, I, I don't think we're ready to give that a mark either way just Agreed. yet. Western Carolina was 7-5, and five, but that's an FCS team. Yes. Okay. At, <laughs> at Florida. Now, the Gators, 7-5. and five. It depends on Jim McElwain, how he does with offense, what, what does he get out of that defense. But here's the thing. You can look at me, Sterling, all you want. <laughs> When's the last time a first-year Florida coach didn't beat Tennessee? So I'm not willing to put Tennessee as a favorite in that. Are they an underdog? Well, my rule of thumb on this is you don't pick Tennessee to beat Florida until they beat Florida. So right now, I would give that an X. Okay. Sterling, for, for, Sterling, we'll just, <laughs> for Sterling, we'll just go ahead and imagine yeah. Yeah. 12 check marks on it. Right? <laughs> Arkansas, 7-6, and six, another bowl team, another team like Tennessee that appears to be on the rise. I, I would say that as being more of a – Toss-up game, maybe Tennessee a slight underdog just because you're playing at home. But I, if if the the what we're using is decisive, I don't think it would be a decisive check. Agreed. Georgia breaks in a new quarterback, but they pretty much win nine, ten games almost every year. Uh, underdog or favorite, or would you put a mark on it yet? I wouldn't put a mark on that yet, but I, I do think Georgia most likely would be a slight favorite in Knoxville. At Alabama, Both. okay, that's yeah. an X. Uh, at Alabama, they. They were a little overrated this year, not just because we said that in the bowl, but if you go back and watch, as I did, our May show, where we find the numbers we're doing in the next segment, you'll see where we said, are they going to be overrated this year? And they were. At Kentucky, I think the Wildcats are getting better, but... But I still think we're looking at Tennessee being the, the favorite there. Hand South up. Carolina had a big step back this year. I think they'll step forward next year. We've had their but, number, But though. you yeah. have had their number. I'm, I'd be ready to give that a check here, Tennessee playing at home. All right, North Texas, who... Fall fans might remember from the 70s coming in here and winning, but that's a check. At Missouri, I mean, they're another 11 and win, 11 win team this year. You're on the road. You haven't beaten them yet. I think you would be closer to a decisive underdog in that game, but simply because of the three-year history. Do you guys agree with yeah. that or disagree? Shazan, I you disagree. Shazan, you put them as an underdog, in Missouri. Um, yes, underdog. David. <laughs> yeah. I'll okay. Put him as an underdog. underdog. Yeah. Then Vanderbilt, you're going to be favored over Vanderbilt. So what do we got there? How many toss-ups? One, two, three. Six. Three touch, three toss-ups. Okay. Tell you what, we'll come back to that a little later in the show, and we're going to let Chuck provide the over-under for Tennessee's win total for next year, and we'll just go ahead and say Sterling will be over. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> when we come back, the numbers I've been talking about, Tennessee bucked a real trend this year, and I think it says some good stuff about your coaching staff. Come on back on the Sports Source, we'll show you. Follow the Sports Source online at sportsource.tv and on Twitter at SportsSourceTV. 